Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it is time to make some soap. So I'm doing a small batch of hot process today. <clears throat> I have 30 ounces of oil plus I have three bars of soap that I'm going to be adding into it as embeds. These were some leftover pieces I had from the fall collaboration with Renee, the one that didn't turn out and I had to hot process them, cook them, bring them back together. I had three bars left over. I'm going to chop those up and add to it. Uh, I am going to color it with Bramble Berries Buttercup Mica. When I put the lye in, keep in mind this is a morphing mica. This will actually turn a burnt orange as soon as the lye hits it. I've said it a thousand times. I like it. I'd be satisfied if it stayed with that, but it always turns back to a nice, pretty yellow. And I'm going to scent it with Bramble Berries um, Lemon Verbena Yankee Type. So I already have my oils here. They're heated. My lye is ready to go. Keep in mind, this is fuller than it should be. You really should not fill your crock pot with hot process more than half. This is going to be close to the top. I know that. I know that's not a good idea, but I have done it a lot of times in this crock pot. I know how it works. In the event there's an emergency and a volcanoes and I have to yank it out, I have my gloves, I have hot pads, I have plenty of counter space and the the soap batter won't hurt this counter, so I'm sitting right here. I've got my computer set up. I'm just going to kind of watch a movie while this cooks. So let's get started. Uh, not a good idea, I know, but I've done it enough. I'm pretty confident doing it. So let's put our micas in. I always put my mica in and cook it with it so I don't have to worry about mixing it in when I'm done. As long as I'm doing a single color, which I almost always do. With hot process so let's just get our mica in there and let's take our stick blender and mix it in this is just the mica and the oils start to cook. Very full crock pot. I am aware of that and there are some dangers but I'm prepared. I've done this a lot of times. So let's get this up to a nice thick emulsification. With my hot process, I like to get a really thick, pro a nice full thick emulsification, thick trace, before it starts to cook. See, there it goes, turning orange. Isn't that neat? And that's such a beautiful orange. I would love it if it stayed that, but it never does. Once again, for hot process, I like it really thick because when it heats up and starts to cook, it's going to separate anyway. So I like to give it a really good emulsification. Not quite, but we're getting there. All right, that's good enough to get us started. So, I'm going to put the lid on this. 
let it start to cook and I'll bring you back for the next stage. Okay, look what's starting to happen on the sides. It's time to put my gloves back on and start watching it like a hawk. Now it's got a little ways to go, but when you see it creeping up on the side like that, it's starting to cook. Okay, we are either entering or already at what's called the applesauce stage. That's where everything kind of sort of comes apart. Starts to separate and it looks like applesauce. It's orange, of course, but that's perfectly natural and hot process. I'm just going to keep watching it. It's behaving so well. And I think that's the extra water. I always use Brambleberry's Lie Calculator, except when I do hot process, I use soap calcs because soap calc default has more water than Brambleberry, and I think that's the difference. But it's cooking, it's doing beautifully. I don't foresee any issues, but it just kind of looks like applesauce, despite the fact that it's orange. So, put the lid on, just watch it very closely. I'm sitting here watching a movie, and I'll bring you back for the next stage. Okay, it's getting a little more intense, but it's still behaving well, staying in the crock pot, but I'm still prepared in case. We're still kind of at the applesauce stage. A lot of liquid in here. Look at the oil right there that's come apart. So it's just kind of time to stir it back together. Now some people say don't do that. It's just kind of a preference. I don't know. Some people do, some people don't. And if you notice, I don't know if the camera picks it up, we're starting to lose some of the orange because it's starting to saponify and turn back into soap, or actually turn into soap. So just kind of get some of those oils down in there, stir that around. Be prepared. I don't want to stir it a whole lot. I just want to kind of help bring it back together because stirring it's going to agitate it. And I don't want a volcano. It's behaving beautifully and I want it to keep it that way. So, it's starting to come back together, which means it's starting to turn to soap. That's all I'm going to do before it gets too angry on me. Just get some of those oils down in there. And I'll see you for the next stage. Time to stir again. It's a working. It's doing its thing. This is where I gotta really watch it and really be careful. But it's still doing its thing, but we're hitting now the mashed potato stage. We're beyond applesauce, which means it's starting to come back together. The oils are incorporating back into the soap. And I'm not stirring it with a lot of force or vigor because I don't want it to get angry. But we're soon going to be at the gel phase, which means it's soap. So just carefully stir it together. It looks like nice burnt orange mashed potatoes. That's the consistency, and that's why we call it the mashed potato stage. Put the lid back on, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, folks, we are at the next stage, and we got soap. And look, it's turned back yellow like it always does. Now, I've got a bit of a problem. I maybe should have put this in the big crock pot. I just think the big crock pot is too full for this size of soap, but this is soap. I've pulled the plug. I can't do anything with this. It's too daggone full. It behaved beautifully. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is transfer this to my big crock pot. And maybe I should have done it in this one in the first place. I've already heated it up, turned it on, gotten it warm so the soap hopefully won't cool down too fast. So I am going to transfer all this soap over to this big crock pot.
That way I can stir it, get all the scent in. Oh, just look at that. I may next time I do this, or with this amount of soap, try the big one and see how it works. But boy, that sucker is hot. Gosh, it behaves so well. So it's time now. This crock pot's pretty hot because it's been it's been warming up. It is time to go ahead and put our fragrance in. So this is, let's get you where you can see, this is the lemon verbena. Now in hot process, maybe it's just me, I don't know, I like to stir my fragrance in gradually. I think I'm gonna plug this in just to keep it warm. Make sure you can still see it, yes you can. I like to stir my fragrance in gradually because it's not like your liquid cold process before it saponifies. It does take a little longer for your soap to absorb it, but it will if you just keep stirring, keep being patient. Oh, it smells so good. And the hot process is so nice and fluffy. I just, I really like hot process. They're just limitations design-wise, at least as far as I'm concerned. Now, some people do some amazing things with it. I can't. Gosh, that soap fragrance smells so good. This batch behaves so well. This might have worked in this big crock pot. I don't know, but I think the next time I try with this amount of oil, I may go ahead and try it in this big one instead of my smaller one. Just keep stirring your soap and your fragrance will be absorbed into your soap. And now it's time to put the embeds in and because their room temperature is going to cool the soap down pretty quickly, although I do have the base plugged in. going to cool down pretty quickly and start to harden up. So you got to do this pretty fast. You got to be fast with this. Thing gets incorporated and all those embeds have soap around them to hold them in place. Get them as evenly distributed as possible. And now it's time to put it into the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. Oh, that is hot. Lift that out. Get it where you all can see it. This is my tall skinny mold and it's in my workshop heritage holder. So it holds it nice and firmly in place. Doesn't bow in the center like it normally does without it. Smash 
smash it in and smack it on the floor. Get your next part in. Smack it on the floor. Do some more. Smack it on the floor. Now that mold is full, but got some more soap, and because it's hot process, and it's at a really thick stage, I can just go ahead and play with it some, and get the sides built up. But in the meanwhile, I'm still just kind of smacking it in there with the spatula, cleaning the sides up as much as possible. And guess what? There we go. So I will be back possibly later tonight to cut this. All this extra, all this in the crock pot, I'll clean that up later, trim it up, and that's all going to go to washing dishes. Yep. You all know me if you've watched this. I use my soap scraps and extras to wash dishes with. So there we go. Taking my gloves off. I'm done. This is soap. It's cooled down to a manageable temperature. And I will see you later for the cutting. Okay, so a mere three and a half hours after I molded the hot process soap, it's ready to cut. I did put it in the refrigerator to help it set up faster. I left it in the wooden mold for about an hour to make sure it held its shape and then took it out of the wooden mold to help release the heat. It's been in the refrigerator three and a half hours. It's ready to cut and because it's hot process, technically it's soap, it's ready to use. I won't, but I could take it to the shower right now and use it. Let's cut it inside and see what it looks, see what the inside looks like. Yeah. See the yellows turn back yellow again. So, hot process does have some definite advantages. You don't have to worry with glycerin rivers, no soda ash, no thickening with your fragrance oil, or sometimes thinning it, but you do have limited design. Now after this sits up and dries some, I think it'll be an even brighter yellow because, look here, just here's just a piece of it that was just kind of on the side, and see how nice and bright yellow that is? So after this is exposed to the air, I think it'll look even brighter and nicer.
And just a small sample for me, which is more than enough. So, I'm happy with this. And the lemon verbena fragrance oil smells fantastic. So, there once again is my version of hot process soap. So everybody, thanks for watching. And I will see you, hopefully, next week for another batch of soap. Bye.